welcome to Not Safe for Work, Rune Terra. I'm your host, Gravity Groove, and today we're on day two of uh, testing out some games in Rune Terra. Now, currently we're just playing in normal mode because we just started the game, and so we don't have a very big collection. We're trying to get the feel and flow of how games work. Uh, this is one of the starter decks. We've made a couple mo uh, small modifications. We got an extra Braum out of one of our packs. We, we put Braum in there. We got uh, one of these things here to potentially stop the uh, it that endures. We only have one though. Um, we've lost several games to it that endures. It appears to be a, a pretty common and powerful deck. Uh, and this particular deck doesn't have a lot of interactive tools. Uh, really, it doesn't have any interactive tools. Um, there's Judgment, which at the right time can clear the board. And uh, Single Avalanche, which honestly doesn't feel like it should be in this deck. Being that this is largely a creature deck. I should probably put something else in there. Yeah, Avalanche, Avalanche should definitely not be in there. And, um, yeah, we just, we don't have a lot of ways to stop the giant, uh, overwhelmed creature. And, and I think in this particular combination, there aren't really any, any tools that do that. There's not like a bounce spell. Oh, I suppose the archer. Getting frostbite. Um, it's not fast though, so you don't, uh, you, you buy yourself a turn. So it doesn't really deal with the problem. Do we have anything that would help here? Slow. Silence a follower. How does this work? How does silence work? Remove all keywords, abilities, and ongoing effects. Does this work? Maybe this works. I don't know how card types work yet, so we're just going to throw a purify in there and see if that works. Flash Freeze works. Being that these are all starter cards, um, we're just making small adjustments based on the stuff we open. We're going to be playing on normal for a while to uh, unlock some stuff. We did spend some of our coins. I think we had 2,000 coins and we're down to like 1,800. We bought a couple cards for... Uh, the, the cheap version of a They Who Endure deck ourselves, which we'll be playing a little later. And uh, I really still don't know how to evaluate a lot of cards yet in this game, um, being that I don't know a heck of a lot about it. Like, we have two uh, Tridemirrors, but we're splitting our eights between these two dudes. Maybe this is too many eights? This is probably too many eights, so... But today, one of our quests is to win a game with a deck that has Lux in it. And this deck has Lux in it, so that's what we're going to try to do. I mean, iced coffee today, if you're wondering. Really big soda on the show. Suspended soda drinkers. It's just not my jam. Well, we got two drop. We got arguably our best five drop because you want to cast that as soon as possible. Um, we just dump the Babylon Burge. He's good too. I mean, he gets us to this dude. I guess we just dump this dude. Probably an Ithan Doors deck. Whenever I see something that generates spiders at this point, that's usually what I'm assuming is going to happen. 
pretty scary. I must get out of here. I think I just take the one. That I can cast for a while. Um. Probably something that does that drain one, make a spider thing. One would assume. We have no good kill targets because these both just make other creatures. You have to get me out of here! Please, I have connections! worth using here. So just make this dude real big now if you'd like. Well, that's scary. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. That's too expensive. Obviously, this isn't great. So we can make this giant. We can make this a uh, four three, but that doesn't trade well. Make this a six five. That trades pretty well. Um, that's our only real option currently. You gotta believe me. One to all enemies. Brutal. Um, brutal. This would be a good winter. Bit. 
So everything's got one more power. Um. Demacian steel protects me. Let's talk about your dad. Too many eights in our hand. We were just talking about is this too many eights? It's probably too many eights, huh? Um None of this stuff attacks well, so we're just swimming with this guy. I think you can take the hit. I guess it's giant unkillable dude time. If you have a power. Wow. That was really powerful. I smell a fight! I believe we could play Garen and this, right? I think that's better than Tusk Raidering, since it's our attack turn. My heart and sword for Demacia. So we have seven to work with. We can actually cast this one as well. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crownguard, I'm Cythria. It's gonna be a big attack. Big boys, but not a lot of uh, overwhelm. Not 
so fast. Your death has been ordained. You cannot stall judgment. Play this out. Roll, my warriors. This only work if you have one of these Senjuin in your deck. If so, that's not very useful. The line. Steady, soldiers. Probably cut that. Just put the other uh, trimere in there or something that's not quite so expensive. I stand ready. Is that the best you got? Do this? How do you put him back? Okay, escape. Got a bunch of guys who can't block. Get a bonus. So let's cut this big Tusk Raider dude, since I guess you probably need that Sejuine card to actually make it work, because when we played it, it didn't do anything. I played it and got the plunder effect, I understand how that works, but apparently that doesn't do anything otherwise. What's our curve look like? Could use a seven or another four or five, ideally. Could buy another one of these. How many things does he get? He gets Trimere, gets Lux, gets the Bold, gets the Alpha Wild Claw, gets Garen, gets. Yeah, could just do another one of those. It's always a free card, and that seems pretty good. Uh, we could put the other Alpha Wild Claw back in there because we have two of them. Could put this Tar. Tark has the tribeless in here. Deal one to all battling units. It's a lot of toughness.
We only got three fives. That seems like a different curve filler. Let's try it out. with magic we're just going to try to minimize the mistakes we make there will of course be mistakes we'll try to lose because we just drew the wrong cards and not because we made a bunch of colossal punts like most of the decks we're facing are spider aggro related decks. Must be the simplest to build. Who, who goes there? We also were building one of them. Probably spider in us, right? Man, that card is really good. really 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 not what we wanted to draw I don't know if we're gonna be able to fight back from those draws being that bad that's really unfortunate that we lost basically all this mana They did too. That egg did it move? Potentially have Lux on my next turn. A chill in the air. a bunch of mana, so I don't know if I want to risk the Garen. Hold fast! Stand strong! <laughs> Save the homestead! He has that uh, spear thing that deals three damage. Again, I don't know exactly all the tricks in all the regions yet. It's going to be a process. Son of a bitch. Did not matter what we did. We're losing it either way. Dang. There goes my best bet at stabilizing this board. Sun is shining. We should too. That sucks. The five plus the marksman would have done it, but. <sighs> That really sucks. Oh, 
Uh, I forgot the barrier only lasted that turn, huh? Well, that was a punt. That seems pretty good. You've just drawn a very, very poorly. Actually, here. Welcome. There's so much to see. Um. Well. We just do not have any good options here. Get the uh, double power and uh, heal first turn. That would be pretty good. basically getting counterspelled out of this game. They got instance for millions of years and we were getting completely savaged by it. Okay, well... Put Lux up attacking. We put everything of these two attacking, we can judgment in combat to wipe this out. Trade one of these. Sure. Into battle with hearts of about your dad.
frostbite is really good. Maybe we should put one of those in here. Seems better than quick combat. I mean, if we had frostbite there, we could have put this guy in, made that a 02, and traded and kept our dude. Soldiers, to me! Stop trying here from absolutely wrecking our shit right now. We can. Maybe we can Brom and Ford Masia. Brom is on the job. Alert the kitchen. We'll need more food. Stand strong. So that's a control deck. We did not have a prayer in hell of beating that. Just destroyed everything we've tried to play forever and ever. And outvalued us by a huge margin. So that sucked and felt bad. Let's play a few of these uh, frostbite effects of our own here. Probably want a couple more spells in here, huh? Cut these one drops, maybe. Six two drops, maybe we want seven. And then eight or more three drops. Oh, we got plenty of those. Shatter or the Ice Veil vale Archer. Those seem pretty good. Um we actually don't have a lot of spells that make this guy good, do we? Seven spells. We need to add another spell, huh? Shared spoils. Cut a three drop of some kind. Sure, let's try that. Oh, we're missing a card. Um, I'm going to add another flash freeze. That did seem really good. Think about adding another one of him because he's just a free card. 
We did run out of cards there pretty quick with him killing all of our stuff for value. We got shards for this guy. Let's add another crazy man. Let's try one more. Finished here. We gotta get a win to get that bonus XP. So, who of you have played this game out there? Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to uh, thumbs up or down or sideways. Tell me if you dig this game, if it's something you're interested in. So far, it seems pretty balanced. I've always liked mana systems like this. Looks like Probably a mirror match here of starter decks. Huh? Two for two. Gets bigger in the late game. That's really good. That's a rare. Mage Seal. Interesting. Um. Discipline and steel. Five, so we got a couple castables now. Um, yeah, I think we're still just going to them. Believe me. Wonder how quickly this fight is going to take us. cards in hand man, which could be important. We can do this. Well getting that out before us is problematic. I came to fight!
Okay, so we can play our own Lux. We could play the Shaman and the Omen Hawk. We still have mana up for Purify if we want. Let's start with the Shaman. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. I think we attack and hold up the flash freeze. Soldiers, it's me! They brave or stupid! You will not prevail! damage to himself as well. Good to know. For the honor of my house. <laughs> must target a follower? Oh, this only works on one of your guys? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's horrible. The frost oh, well, well, well. all to me. I mean, that's hilarious. So we have Lux and potential Flesh Freeze we can cast this turn. Ooh! They gonna get big. Uh, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I've been hiding my life too long! That's a lot of toughness. Shine with me. We put this here and flash freeze. Bitter cold. Or do we add, make this an eight five? Just trade them out. I shouldn't have blocked my shaman, to be honest. Winter, take you.
I'm never ever in a million years gonna be able to kill that thing. Uh. Man, that's frustrating. You can make stuff so tall that it's effectively invincible. Like, I don't know what to, I don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, this is over. He's gonna be able to kill one of my things and this can't protect it. This is, this is very over. guy, uh, I don't, I don't think he works. He does too much damage to us. Like my blade? Let's get going. Jeez, how do you kill stuff this big? I just don't understand how the game intends for you to deal with things this tall. Hopefully, eventually, I understand, but as it, as it is now, up their day. it just doesn't make any damn sense. Factions don't seem to have any uh, cards that destroy stuff, whereas the other factions do. There's a scent in the air. Gotcha. What do you mean you must target follower? Does that mean it has to be someone from the same region? So he doesn't count? Must target follower. So it's got to be someone from Damasia? Um... I smell a fight! I'm done here. This is not fun. You have bested me. 
We're learning time. a lot about sucking today here. Which I expected to lose a lot trying to learn this game, but man, we are losing a lot. And in ways that do not feel like we can do a damn thing about it. Which is not something we enjoy in card games. Sure, we're making a lot of build mistakes right now. Like, I don't know how the hell this card works. Um, and we do not have any cards that really affect the board in a meaningful way. Which is problematic. See if we have another five somewhere we can put in. Or maybe we put a wild flaw back in. Five or a, yeah, five or four. None of the other fives are particularly good, so. That's an epic, so we don't want to be crafting that. Alright, let's try one more, and then we're going to break. Seems like a pretty good starting hand. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll write my own story. Seems really good. We figure because we're a new player, we're going to lose to a lot of people who've just got better cards than us. It's going to be a pretty common occurrence, I think. The sun is shining. We should 
to. Just swing with these guys. A beacon in battle. Stand and defend. So much for my champion. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. How was that other instant spell I got? Catalyst of Aeons. Okay. because of destroying everything we put in play. And I honestly don't know how you're supposed to play against control that in this uh, in this game. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I just keep playing stuff and he gets to destroy all of it for like no cost. The winter's claw strikes! Okay, so um, we're around there, having lost most of our games, and having played against control decks two or three times in a row. Um, you know, maybe this deck just isn't viable. It's common in lots of lots of games. It's a starter deck, and we're playing in normal, so there's no no telling who we're facing against, or what kind of rank players, or how the game algorithm determines who faces who or why. Uh, but for now, all I can say is I'm. I think I'm punching, I'm, I'm facing people who are punching high above my weight class, and we're absolutely getting decimated because we can't be beaten. Uh, epic damnation as a three of in a deck when our deck is just creatures. Just we can't, it's not a game we're ever going to win. So uh, hopefully we can figure out what the game intends for us to do if we're going to be facing a lot of control decks or what the solution is. Until then, uh, we're going to keep experimenting and hope we don't get too frustrated. But, you know, frustration is the name of this channel, so hopefully we get back to a place where uh, we enjoy ourselves, but we have the right amount of frustration. My name is Gravity Groove. This has been Not Safe for Work, Noon Terra. I hope you had a little fun here today and uh, following me on my journey through this game. It will get better. Trust me. Thanks for sticking it out. I appreciate your time, and I will see you later. Boom.